So Sony is a private equity. It's a parent company that owns, uh, um, has its hands in tech, finance, real estate, and nonprofit work. And so those are our four pillars of our business. Uh, we've started off in nonprofit. We have our uh, nonprofit Sunshine Heroes for the last 10 years. Then we got into real estate. We have a property management business and, and some real estate holdings. Then we uh, got into finance. We have a finance company and, and lately we've, we've got into tech also. And so those will be the four pillars that we'll focus on. When you do a startup, you want your employees to uh, be PLUs, what we call them. We call them people like us. And people like us means, especially in a startup, I mean, they're different for every type of company, but for a startup, it's scrappy, loyal, and cheap. And uh, if you can find employees like that, then uh, you're, you're off and running and that'll help you be very successful. I think the most successful people, um, uh, they've talked a lot about it being luck. And we don't believe in luck. We believe in creativity and, and innovation and hard work. You know, we believe that hard work has many different levels. You know, I was at, in high school, waking up at 6 a.m. was extremely hard. And it was the hardest work I've ever done in my life. You know, working for my dad's insulation company and, and the hopper, you know, tearing out the insulation and blowing into the attics was the hardest job I've ever had. But it seemed like the older I got, every job was harder. And playing at BYU was really hard. And then playing for Dusko, one of the hardest coaches I've ever had in my life over in Spain was hard. So there's lots of different levels of hard work. Um, and you can always do more. You can always take on more. You can get, you can work smarter. You can work better. Um, and, and as long as you're a lifelong learner, you'll figure that out. Uh, I think you're always improving the culture. You're always trying to figure out a way to, to take care of your employees, to, to not, you don't want to create a sense of entitlement. You want to create a competitive environment where they have the opportunity to earn amazing things, amazing experiences. One, one way we've done it was we hired a chef and we feed our employees every bre breakfast and lunch for free. Uh, and that chef is a mom who is the heart and soul of Tasani. She takes care of her employees. She knows, you know, who, ha who needs gluten-free products and who needs this and who's gonna come in late and she makes them a, s a separate plate. And, and to have an experience like that, a culture like that, will keep your employees there for a long time, will keep them loyal to you because it's not, it's, it's not something that another company wants or can create. Uh, you want to do things that other people aren't doing, and you want to treat your employees in a, in a very special way. You know, I, we started Tasani because um, we knew that we would do anything we can to take care of our employees. That once we found them, once we found our PLUs, that, that we uh, would push them and have huge expectations, but then we, we, we'd uh, reward them quite handsomely. you you got to take care of your people. Uh, you got to build a great culture. And I, an idea is a dime a dozen. But culture, people, leadership, and the execution of that, that idea will ultimately lead you to be successful.